This video is sponsored by Model3Part.com. For all the latest and greatest Tesla Model 3 accessories, visit Model3Part.com. Jerry Pagel says, hey, Jerry, just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hope all is well. Open glove box. Wow. I almost can't believe it. We finally have text message integration and other enhanced voice features in update 40.50.1. Let's dive in and take a look at the new features and their capabilities. Rear camera. Close camera. Turn off climate. Booyah. Adjust mirrors. Look at that. Brings up the menu. Do you know how big of a deal this is? I don't have to look at the menu, come down in here and try and figure out where I have to go in into the menu to adjust my mirrors. That simple voice command brings up the mirror adjustment and I'm able to do that right from the scroll wheels on the car. That is just simply amazing. Let's see what else we can do. Set temperature to 75 degrees. Look at that. And you can see the card pops up here showing you what your command was. Turn off climate. Boom! Let's see what else we could do here. Download dash cam. Command not available. So that might be something in the future. Open autopilot setting. Oh, look at that. Awesome. That's awesome. So convenient. Change following distance to five. Not understood. Change wiper speed to one. And it changed it to minimum. So that's really cool. That's really cool. All right, what else could we do here? Lock car. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Locking doors. Unlock car. Awesome. Play radio station 105.9. And it did. Awesome. Open charge port. There we go. Close charge port. Look at that. Unbelievable. Turn on driver seat. Ha! Look at that. It did it. It actually turned it on. I didn't know if it was going to or not. Turn off driver seat. Unbelievable. Let me see if I can actually activate one in the rear. Turn on rear middle seat. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. It did it. Turn off middle seat. Boom! Turn on rear passenger seat. Let's see what it turned on here. It did. It turned all of them on. Turned every one of them on except for the driver. Wow. Let's see if we can get them to turn off. Turn off passenger seat. Turn off rear passenger seat. Command not understood. Let's see if it actually turned them off, though. No, it did not. Turn off rear passenger seat. Let's see if I can give it this command. Turn off all seat heaters. There you go. That's the command. And that's the cool thing. So as we interact with the car, even if we don't get the voice command correct, Tesla is listening, and let me show you here in the release notes where it says that anonymized voice commands will be captured to further train and improve the system in future software updates. So that's cool. So as we learn what voice commands we need to use to interact with the car, it's also capturing all those other voice commands that we didn't 
get correct, and we'll use that information to further train and improve the system. That's cool. That is very cool. I don't know any other car that does that. Usually, there are just a a set list of commands that you have to use and you specifically have to say those words in that order in order for the car to interact with you. With the Tesla, it looks like it is going to continue to learn and the AI engine behind all this is just gonna keep improving each and every update that we get. So very cool. So many cool features. It's just gonna get better and better over time. I think we can all agree that the voice commands work pretty well. However, I will say the other day, I did have some problems where I just couldn't get anything to work. Rear camera. Rear camera. Rear camera. Adjust mirrors. All right, so let's dig into the other feature of the day, and that is text message integration. This is something that I've been wanting and waiting for for a long time. So let's see how well it works. Text message Jerry Pagel. Hey Jerry, how's it going? Are you creating that new video? Tap to read. Jerry Pagel says, hey Jerry, how's it going? Are you creating a new video? And I can tap to reply. Yep, I sure am. How's everything going with you? Tap to send. Got the message. Now let's go ahead and read it. Jerry Pagel says, yep, I sure am. How's everything going with you? And I'll tap to reply. Everything is fine. I am just hanging out with the family these next few days as we are on Christmas break. Tap to send. Message came in on my phone as well as on the screen. Let's tap to read it. Jerry Pagel says everything is fine. I am just hanging out with the family these next few days as we are on Christmas break. But I wanted to show you how good the interpretation of the Tesla Model 3 is when I am speaking to it to send a message. It picked up every single word that I had and it just, it worked flawlessly. Now the other cool feature here is in your phone command, you now have a little icon here that says messages. And if you tap that, it's gonna show you all the messages that you received for that day um, in here. So that's a very cool feature, as well as they now have a favorites where you can go directly in here, push your favorite to dial or text them. So let's see, if I were to do Nick, yep, see, I can compose a message to Nick right away. The favorites, it's cool, but I can do this via the voice command, so I really don't need this to be in here, but I'm happy to have it. So there are a bunch of cool features here in the, in the new release, and I just really wanted to go over those two main features, which is voice command and phone improvement, because those are the two biggest things that I think most Tesla owners have been waiting for for a long time. The other cool feature here is camp mode. Maybe this should have been like drive-in mode slash camp mode. Tesla Theater now has Twitch, which, mm, yeah, okay, thank you, and a couple new games as well. Um, but the other cool thing here is the voice keyboard. So now instead of having to go in and type, I'm able to use the voice command to do that. So that's very cool. And then we also have the tracks, which we can basically create our own masterpiece right here in a Tesla, um, which is fairly cool as well. Try this one, Char. The other feature that I do like within this update is the save dash cam clips on a honk. Honk your horn, let's see what happens here. Boom, there you go. The Tesla Model 3 just got better.